Hey, Tyler back with Tech and Espresso. So we'll begin by looking at the clamp exercise. Looks like it's a simple sketch with extrudes and there's a few different methods we can do first. So let's do that. And if you'd like to follow along, I'm supplying the drawing so you can download it, get started, try it out on your own, and then go through the exercise together. We'll begin by starting a brand new design. And we'll start a new sketch. And the first thing I like to do is hit save give this a name, and I'm gonna create a new component. And this is rule number one, this only really applies if you'll be working with multiple components in an assembly, but it is a good habit. So we'll begin by starting a sketch on the front plane. And first let's talk about one method that if you're new to Fusion, this is probably a very effective way to do it. And that is to sketch these two shapes together and what I want to do is do an outer circle of 100. I know that from the drawing. If you look closely at the drawing, it's actually a radius of 50 or a diameter of 100. That's the, they're the same thing. And then I know the outer dimensions of this rectangular block or this shape to be 25. And we are in millimeters. If you'd like to change that, if you're in inches, come over and change it here. And I need to line up this rectangular shape to the center of the origin. My favorite way to do this is to sketch from the middle to the center and then right click on it and choose horizontal and it aligns itself. You don't have to keep this as a solid line. You can hit X on your keyboard and that will make that construction. Now, how far out is this? Dimension from the center point over, and we'll make this 100 as well. Whoops, try that again, 100. All right, so first, if you are new to Fusion, um, I know early on when I was CAD modeling, the way I would, do, would have done this is maybe try to do it all in that first sketch. Come back in and just sketch the shapes. If you're familiar with offset, we could do that. So I would offset this, and I believe it's an offset of 10 or 5. And we want it to be negative 5. Great. And then we would offset this one. Negative 5. This is a pretty fast way to do it. And if you can kind of see the interior shape, if we now do an extrude, we'll delete the extrude I was doing earlier. And we extrude just these outer shapes. That'll get us what we want at 100. Now, one bummer is I actually did want it cut out there. So maybe instead we could come back and fix our sketch. So the offset method is great, or you could have just sketched it manually. Now, that's a cool way to do it, um, and hopefully you're familiar with that method. I'd like to introduce an even better way to do this particular problem. Here we go. The thing you might notice about the exercise is that all of the outer thickness is identical or uniform. That typically means use the shell command. So what we'll do is do S for search and do shell. So we're gonna do the shell feature. Now, choose the walls that you need to thin out or remove. So I'm gonna be removing or cutting into these three walls. And I know for me, just playing with the shell command, that was very helpful to get used to how it works. So I'm gonna type in five millimeters, and by selecting these three outer walls, it's allowed to chop at that wall and keep it. We're not chopping this, that stays the same, but it cuts into those three walls and leaves five millimeters. And now we've got that clamp all done with one shell feature. I love this one because it's also easy to edit, right? You could you know, update to an eight millimeter very easily, can change that thickness and adjust it, and it's very quick. Next, let's add some fillets. I'll select all four. These are feature fillets. They're added to the model after the fact. I'm typing in 20 for our fillet, hit OK, and it's rounded those edges. 
Next, let's add the slot. I'm going to start a sketch on this face. Now let's find the slot. So we come down to create and you'll find slot and there's a bunch of different styles. I'll do the overall slot and it just has me sketch a line and then drag to place this shape. And I'm just getting it very rough and then I start to add smart dimensions. I hit D for smart dimension and then type in 7.5 for that radius. The distance from the center line to that edge is 30. And then what else are we missing? I think we know the overall distance of the slot of that line is 50. Now the one thing I'm missing, and then if you look at the drawing, there's no other dimensions. How do we get this fully defined? Well, this should be centered. If you look at the drawing, it is centered from top to bottom. And that's where I like to use that middle to middle trick. I sketch a line from middle to middle and then just make it horizontal. So it now lines up and then I make that construction just as a reference. Now we'll hit E for extrude. Now we're gonna cut all the way through. Come over to my components, turn off the visibility of my sketches and let's inspect it. Looks really good. So lots of different ways you can do this simple part. Be sure to check out my other exercises that have downloads. They're all over on my website at techandespresso.com. Check out this other video. If you're learning to sketch, learning Fusion 360, this is another great start. These 10 things you should avoid doing when you're sketching in Fusion 360. I'll see you guys in the next video.